very good Tuesday morning to you. Could we have a injury boost ahead of our clash against Chelsea on Saturday? Let's talk about it. <laughs> Yes, everybody, what's on the West End Network? Hope you're safe and well. Hope your Tuesday is going well. Members, I hope you're enjoying the latest members exclusive podcast um, featuring myself, Mr. Baker, and the lovely Holly. We, uh, it was only, it was called, it was entitled Only at West Ham and featured those moments that can be only described as only West Ham. They include the likes of Antonio crashing his car and jumping out of it dressed as a uh, a snowman and uh, the famous patch era hashtag only at West Ham. But only at West Ham can our star left back go off after being hit in the knee, but he'd already been injured beforehand. But that's what Tony Gale said. He was very, very scathing about him. Um, but according to the skies, Jack Rossier, he has um, he is basically reported that West Ham could be handed a massive boost ahead of our game against Chelsea on Saturday lunchtime. Um, he reported Emerson could be fit to face his former uh, employees after recovering from the knock that he had to put it, he had to put his participation in doubt that basically got injured. Yeah, he had to be replaced at the hour mark um, after feeling some discomfort. I think it was in the knee um, with Vladimir Slufau coming on and uh, Wambasaka slotting very admirably into the left back position. Um, you know, considering he's our only natural sort of first team left back, I would say there were concerns that maybe he'd be facing a somewhat lengthy spell um, on the sidelines with Aaron Cresswell still in the books, but still a question mark over his um, fitness having not come on for Emerson, but instead deciding to play a, a right back out of position. Um, he opted against him, which obviously speaks volumes for me in terms of his uh, decline as he approaches very much the twilight of his West Ham career. But um, we have been sweating over his fitness, but apparently we can breathe a sigh of relief after scans showed nothing too concerning. Nothing too concerning. Um as he said, he has been linked with a potential uh, potentially being fit in, ter- in time for the game against Chelsea. And similarly, also Nicholas Falkrug as well. We could be going in with a potentially fit squad, completely fit squad. Um, according to Transfer Windows, um, it's given him, uh, it's given Nicholas a, he gave him a 50-50% chance um, with uh, Emerson at up to 50% depending on uh, the results of the scan. But we said, According to Jack Rossier uh, from The Sun, that um, we could have a boost. And um, oh, I could do a boost. I'm pretty pictures at the moment. But it's only Tuesday morning. Give me a chance. Um, but, yeah, so we'll wait and see what happens um, with that. But uh, hopefully it's, uh, it's it wasn't as serious as Thirst Falls. But anyway, we'll be back later on for latest news, views, and opinions. But until next time, take care, stay safe, stay warm, stay humble, keep the faith, my friends. And I'll see you soon. Much love. Bye, Ed. <laughs>